Mexico is just in front. Right there, we can see Mexico and we will be there in a minute. Well, a minute of driving, but how long will it be at the border? No idea, but it's right there. You happy? I'm ah, so excited. Nice. Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries and just the road as a home. Lunchtime, next to the beautiful Joshua trees. And luckily, look at that sun. Since we left uh, Jackson Hole, it has been cold, but it's been always sunny. And now it's warm and sunny. And we're at the Josh Joshua Tree National Park, it's so good. So, thank God. And next week, Wednesday, we wanna. First impressions of Joshua Tree, we're happy we made the little stop. We were not sure, but the trees are actually really cool. Like as another universe when you arrive in those valleys with like entire forests of those Joshua trees. Plus one for Joshua Tree National Park, I guess. Proceed at your own risk, warning deep sand and rocks, stranded drivers have died from heat exposure on palm road. Uh, road is not maintained or patrolled, four wheel drive only beyond this point, tow truck fees from this area cost over a thousand, vehicle rental agreement do not cover towing from unpaved area, make the right decision. <laughs> Crazy huh? <laughs> okay let's see. We're going. We're going. <laughs> That's it. We were spending our last days in the desert, soaking in that last vibes of the USA. Such a diverse country that offered us the most amazing landscape in the two months we spent there. We are now in the extreme south and it is time for us to cross to our next country, Mexico. Not only our visa is expiring, but also we are longing discovering a new place, speaking a new language, learning a new culture. In this episode, we show you the crossing and our first days in Tijuana. But before that, we have one last thing to do. And for that, direction San Diego. up a very steep uphill and elbow is at 45 kilometers per hour <laughs> there's three cars behind all like come on man you can do it and uh, on our left here there is super flat desert and on a sun we're going this overpass it's hilarious and there's a lot of wind and look if you look in front you can see we're going up 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 we went from I think uh, Zero, no, actually minus 20 elevation, and now we're at 1,300 meters. That's crazy, <laughs> I'm still going. We stopped at a special place. This is the place of the uh, owner of the uh, Adventure Portal, the magazine online. This is his car, TAP it's called. So we're here in, which area are we at? Sa North County, San Diego. North County, San Diego. We're here with Andy and the dog, Blue. 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 Beautiful dog. Australian, Australian Shepherd. Shepherd. Australian Shepherd. And we're here with uh, Andy who um, works for the Adventure Portal. Actually, it's his own company. Because we had a ton of things to ship over and uh, the car's already filled and that's all that's looking at the garage now that's all the stuff that I had sent <laughs> <laughs> exactly. and it's on the car it's fitted somehow not everything 
and um, maybe tell us a little bit about the Adventure Portal. Um, the Adventure Portal or TAP um, is an online magazine website. Um, we do gear reviews where we test the products ourselves or featured products, um, trip, trip reviews that we, we do or freelance people like Nick and Matilda do for us on their travels around the world. Um, we've been going for gosh, five, six, seven years now. Um, everything's digital, everything's online. And the rig is amazing. I've always wanted a Forerunner. We ended up with a Land Rover because that's what you can get in Europe. But the grass is always greener though because I, <laughs> I look at your rig and go, oh, I really wish I had that rig. Yeah. <laughs> that's because you're British. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Andy. Andy, thanks. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Oh, look at Blue. Six years ago, we came to California with Nick. Six years ago. We discovered something that really changed our life for the better. Okay, I'm exaggerating a tiny bit. But today, arriving in San Diego, we decided to go back to this place. And this place is... Uh, in and out! Okay, I exaggerate a lot, but it brings us a lot of memories back from that super cool road trip we did six years ago. So we are thrilled to be back to in and out Cheers. No, the last thing we had to do was not to eat a burger. We had received a few messages from people living in the San Diego area. And we felt that our stop in the city would be a great occasion to meet some like-minded people and travel enthusiasts. And that's how we ended up planning our first meetup. Hi, my name is Ray Vasquez, also known as High Voltage, and that is my car. Cool. What kind of car it's is that? 1985 Buick Regal Lowrider. Lowrider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the only one yeah. out there. We have vans, we have motorcycles, we have only one. One Lowrider. So cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> J'aimerais trop votre, voir votre mini mug. Hein. Ouais. Que, parce que eux, ils ont visité et tout. Ouais. Toi, t'as visité aussi Moi, j'ai rien vu. <laughs> so, we've got a good example of what a low clearance is versus a high clearance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> He's gotta give you pointers. I don't know how wow. to do We did not film much that evening, but thank you so very much to everyone who came, and for that matter, anyone who follows and supports our journey. It keeps us motivated to producing videos and it means the world. We were ready to go to Mexico! So today is a big day, we are crossing to Mexico. Yesterday we had the meetup, it was so much fun and now we're getting ready while watching... What is it? French Tunisia? Yeah. Cool. So getting ready in front of the game. We're killing the last like data for the USA we have. Mexico is just in front. Right there, we can see Mexico and we'll be there in a minute. Well, a minute of driving, but how long will it be at the border? No idea, but it's right there. You happy? I'm ah, so excited. Nice. We stopped filming from that point on. Camera and border crossings are not compatible. Let me summarize briefly what happened. Our car got searched briefly, they let us through, we got our visa, we got our TIP, and we were out in Mexico. That's it, we're in Mexico, we got the visa for us both and the TIP, the temporary import permit. 
Uh, it was what an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it was you pretty all the fast. paperwork, waiting for the printing, and then for them to scan and to write and to double check the paperwork. It's very manual, but it took an hour and a half. Yeah, and uh, it was very simple and rela relaxed because we crossed in Tecate, which is a border just east of Tijuana. Everyone told us Tijuana is a bit crazy, so if you want to make your life easier, go to Tecate. And it was indeed much easier. Uh, we'll do a full video, I think, on the process to cross the border. Yeah. So we won't give more detail here, but we're so happy. Let's do Mexico! Let's go Mexico! And out! Vamos! It's vamos. Vamos. Vamos! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we had reached our third country in the Americas, our first time in Mexico. As soon as we crossed, we drove west to reach Tijuana, just an hour of road. First up is the garage of Ricardo here in Tijuana because we have a few modifications we wanted to do on the car. Very little stuff, very little small stuff. So we're going to spend two days here. And he let us sleep in his garage, so that's going to be very convenient. Guess we found again. Good. Hey, buddy. And who's there? Eva and Elena, right? Yay! And uh, the Project Mundo car. A uh, defender out of the garage, a defender <laughs> in the garage. And we were not alone in the garage. We met again with Eva, who is also making a few additions to her defender. Remember Eva, who is who we traveled to Alaska? We'll be traveling together in Baja California. But that is for next week, so let's be a bit more patient. We also met for the first time with Sergio and Eleni from Project Mundo Cao who have been traveling for seven years on the continent and they gave us precious piece of advice as we go together for our first night out in Mexico. Needless to say, arriving in Tijuana already felt like home, surrounded by some of our favorite travelers. Today is going to be a bit of a messy day. We're like three group of travelers in the garage. There's uh, Eleni and Sergio from Brazil and Ivan Vilk. Obviously that you know, we are all at the garage at the same time, not really fixing anything big, just like doing a bit of modifications on the car so that we're ready for like the next legs of our trips. Ricardo gave me his office so I can edit video. Nick is working on the car. Eva and Vilk are going to come. It's a funny, funny vibe. Like we slept in the garage, it was super comfy. It was really nice. The, uh, this neighborhood of Tijuana is super nice. We can walk everywhere, do groceries, have dinner outside. Good day, but like heavy work day. And also it's funny because at the office I have the cameras so I can actually see what everyone is doing. Like now I can see Sergio outside working on his defender, Nick and Ricardo like checking out what needs to be done on Albatross. And I can see the streets, so whenever like Eva will show up, I will be able to see that. So I'm in control, guys. Today we're doing multiple jobs. We are changing the glow plugs hopefully, figure out what is wrong with them, either it's a relay in the fuse or the glow plugs. We are changing also this uh, hub because as you can see I removed the four screws and this one can't be, a screw can't go in because it's broken in there. We removed half of it but it broke the threading so we're just going to change the hubs. So that's what we're doing and I'm learning throughout the whole process because we're here with Ricardo from this garage in Tijuana 
and uh, he's super talented and it's a lot of fun and he's super relaxed. Thank you, Dan. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely useless on the mechanics today but I have a role I need to hold this strong Another day in the workshop, so today Nick is going to finalize the installation of the shock absorbers, the Connie red that we received just yesterday. Thank you so much everyone from Connie. Um, and we're going to replace the glow plugs because we had a bit of problem starting when it was really cold and those glow plugs are dating back, back, back. So we just want it to be like sharp and new. And I introduce you to Rocco. Rocco. He's the sharpest dog ever. He's the dog of the workshop. Hey, Rocco. Hey, good boy. Good boy. After two days and a half of intense work, we got new shock absorbers on, replaced our bolt, installed the rear camera, and fixed the connections of the glow plugs. No time lost. Eventually, after the last productive day in the workshop, we were almost ready. Ricardo's almost finished with uh, setting up the rear camera. We're almost done. One more thing that we did here is the seals of the car. And so we redid uh, a lot of these seals. And if you can see somewhere here, there it is. So it's like really sealed tight. And we did it for all the doors. And uh, that's it. So everything is ready. The car is ready to go. Another day at the workshop. Um, it's a bit frustrating because the only thing I want to do is go discover the town but it's good we're getting so much done on the car in the meantime I'm working on videos I'm working on like catching up tons of stuff that Nick and I had to do on the computer because Ricardo has a great internet here so we really like getting the most out of it downloading new music for the future videos so yeah, we didn't get to explore too much, but Mariana, the wife of Ricardo, did some fish tacos that were so good. Uh, so we're, we're getting stuff done. So I think two nights, because the guys should be done, and we're probably going to leave tomorrow. We're probably going to like celebrate all of us in town, finally, going to discover Tijuana, and then head to Baja California. And as per tradition, we asked someone from the country yeah, to put the Mexico that. flag on the car. Oh. <laughs> so that way Professional I won't equipment. Yeah. <laughs> I won't have any trouble. <laughs> he just took his lamp and spoke. We are watching. We are watching. No pressure. No. All the pressure you can imagine. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, but these are kind of crooked. You know, so if I go lower, if I go straight, or really do you want crazy. me to keep continue this? Yeah. Okay, then try and make it more straight back to back, back how it's already, supposed to. It's already giving hey. Ricardo putting on the first flag of Mexico for us. Whee! We are officially in Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> Every time. <laughs> this oh, no. guy is a troll. <laughs> Perfect. Nice, Ricardo. Nice. The choice of Ricardo was not difficult to make. Staying at the garage was just like being part of his family. He opened the door of his workshop to let us sleep in. The doors of his house when he invited us for food and meet his family. And that evening, he opened the doors of his town, where he brought us out to visit Tijuana, destroying one by one all the cliches communicated about this town. Did you know that the Caesar salad was invented in Tijuana? Problem 
problema fue amarte yeah. Sabiendo que no sientes nada y no sabes querer No sabes querer All those big lights in the back Very easy to see This is the border We heard so many things about Tijuana before coming here like pay attention it's going to be dangerous or like when you cross the border don't turn left turn right stay in the touristic areas and you know now we're visiting the city with uh, Eleni and Sergio from Project Mundo Cao and from Ricardo like born and raised here and on the garage and like it's just such a nice city like after three days spent in Tijuana at the doors of Baja California, it was time to head south. Ciao! Ciao! Ciao, Eleni! Take care! And one last time, we drove along the long and high wall marking the border. Why are we in a rush, you would ask? Because we need to meet with our next travel crew! And planning goes strong. Most of you already know our favorite solo woman traveler ever. But there are also some new faces we will introduce you next week. Ready for a Defender Toyota convoy? Yes, yes, I did say Toyota. Don't be shocked. To be sure you do not miss what is coming up next, subscribe to the channel. See you next week! <laughs> Más de nivel, esta mi despedida. Vete con el que tú un día. Suerte que ya no eres mía, yo ya no te aguanto. No, esta mi despedida. Vete con el que tú un día. Suerte que ya no eres mía, yo ya no te aguanto. No, no voy a negarte, no. La primera vez.